So anyone who heard about the weekly attack, okay, this is a category, right? So simply, what is happening in this one? Your sessions, okay? You guys are familiar with the session. What will be a session? Okay, let's just talk about. You know, we will be talking about the weekly attack, uh, your session hijacking, which will be using this weekly attack. Okay. Yeah. Session hijacking. We will be using this replay attack for the session high jacking, right? And then you know we'll be talking about the your cross site request forgeries and all those kind of different attacks. So first thing you need to understand that how this web scenario it is working. Now, what usually happen is if this is my system and it is requesting any session or you know this is the server, right? So this is my user. This is my server. This is client, and this is the server. Now, whenever this user is requesting anything that I want to access this page, okay, let's just say that you know I am I am requesting. Then this server, what it is doing? It is asking you, who are you? Why should I give you the page? Right? Who are you? Now you are giving it in the your password. Okay, I am this person. Once the password is verified. This server will be opening a session for you, right? And this session is going to have different different token, right? It could be having your cookies, which is storing your data, like you know, uh, your URL, uh, your username, password, all those kind of things, right? So cookie is not always a thing, but yes, it could be there, right? So session management is pretty important that how you are managing this session, as attacker can use this for the particular benefit, okay? And Why you know while we have establishing the session is what is happening next time even let's just say that I am sending the request that you know I want a new page right so usually for the security purpose what we have done for the server point of view each request that is coming is a new request so when you are wanting a new page it will again asking you that who are you right and it is not a convenient way right every time if I have to enter my password. That is not a convenient way. So what we have done, we are having a particular session open, which is we you know, which is going to contain your other details like session IDs, cookies, contain your data. So next time, whenever I am sending a request, a new request, I will be sending those session tokens, okay, or uh, the cookies to the server, and it will be verifying, okay, this is the person, and it will be sending me back that particular requested page. So this is happening when we are talking about the managing the session, right? So this is how this whole thing it actually work. Now attacker. So what is happening in the replay attack is attacker. What he is doing? He is just trying to uh, few thing he can done. Look, if you are just having the the session ID, let's just say, and you are using some pathetic or you know a particular algorithm which is very easy to crack and it is generating very guessable number like. You know S one zero one, and I am just simply you know entering the session like you know uh, guessing this thing that you know next could be your session one zero two or session one zero three one zero five right very easy to guess one so I can but I can have I can have someone's session ID right in picture and I can use that particular session ID to open a particular session with my system like if there is the attacker this is your Attacker, for example. So what he done? He used the same session ID or guess the session ID, the tokens, right? And he's enabled this time without even logging in using someone else's session. So if user A or you know user B has logged in with that particular session ID, so A can also without even logging in as any user, like you know it could be let's just say it uses the session token of the user A, right? Same thing with guessing it. So It will be logged in as a session A. So this kind of attack is means replaying your tokens, replaying your cookies. That will be your particular replay attack, right? And usually those cookies they store the confidential information. So what is suggested that as soon as work is done, you are closing your browser, flush those cookies, right? Flushing those cookies, one thing, okay? Or you know, using a token with the cookies, you know, your. Uh, Unique token. Each time you are sending a request to the uh, server, a new token is generated. New token is sent to you. Next time you will be using that token again. Server will be flushing it out using the new token. That kind of thing will be keep going on. That what you can do, 
right? So again, it is suggested that you just you know delete those things. Okay, encrypt those cookies so that no one can guess the you know ID, session ID, and all those kind of thing, right? So then there come your session hijacking. Okay, so I already give you the idea. So what is happening in there? So attacker he sniffed the network. Let's just say he he was sniffing the network, right? So he sniffed the network and he found some of the session IDs, some cookies, right? And that you know cookie during the transmission. Now what it did? So you know that was saying that was having the username, password, login, right? Everything. So that cookie has already used and established a session with this server, and now attacker use the same cookie which is going to have same username, password, ID, and going to start a session with the server. So attacker will be logging as the your user B or C at that particular time. So that is your session hijacking that you hijack the session, right?